it's hard sometimes you know, what an MVP is, and just ask LeBron, you know, if he wasn't an MVP, he's not happy about it. Uh, so, MVP, Coaches Award, those are the two. Then we're going to recognize uh, academically all of our, our student athletes that did well in the classroom. To name it the Coaches Award for me, which is why I asked Steve if I could name it something else, and he said no. So, we dedicated this award um, at our awards bank. The girls and I made up one, or Coach Bisbee and I made one. We call it the Tamika Mason Dedication Award. And so, Tamika, you get my Coaches Award because this girl was at practice every single day. She was dedicated to the team throughout the entire year. She took numerous buses, trains, cars, bicycles, whatever it is, you name it, that girl did whatever she could to get to practice every single day. So no matter what obstacle stood in her way, Tamika hurled it, kept pushing forward. Sometimes she would walk three to six miles from the bus stop to get to the Burke Lake Park before a practice where she'd have to run six or seven miles. And then she'd walk three to six miles back. So Tamika, you get our coaches award for your day. Women's basketball has been a extraordinary ride this season. And these young ladies sitting at this table and one over there who is the second athlete to actually the third, because Caitlin played to play dual sports. Um, and you all are paving the way, young ladies. I, I mean that. It, it, it humbles me to just see you balancing and going from basketball to softball, working at nine to five, coming in the gym. And you know, I was trying to hold back from having tears, but hearing your story, and you know, as a coach, that that's why we're doing. It. You know, I, I've actually been in your shoes, and I know that it, it's, it's, it seems like it's hard, but I promise you it's so sweet. Victory is so sweet when you get there. I mean, you keep doing your thing, young lady, and I promise you, you'll go far in life. A couple of years ago, Nova Soccer was in rough shape. I think the last game my mother actually flew out to from Minnesota. We played in Montgomery College. I think they played us 10 to nothing, something like that. For those of you who don't know, they're the four-time kind of Chico regional champion. And they're a team that this year in the playoffs we were beating four to three until we had an unfortunate red card, which kind of doomed us. But all you need to know about Nova men's soccer is that we were down three nothing in the playoffs to the best Chico program around, and they came back and took took the lead four to three. Some of scored probably the greatest goal I've ever seen live. And uh, but it's all down to these kids. I believe about our season, uh, I guess I had, if I had to put one name on our season, it would be a rebuilding season. Uh, 2014, we won our region championship, and then when you graduate all your players and bring back one sophomore, uh, you are rebuilding with you know 11 new freshmen. Uh, and that's not an easy task to do when no one knows each other, they don't know the coaching staff, uh, who plays next to who, who communicates, all that's to take into consideration when you're playing some high-level volleyball. So, uh, but still, we did pretty good this year. Uh, not as good as we would like, but still, uh, great progress, and the players learned and got better. And that's one of my main. We had a we had a really successful season. I think I think it was the best record-wise, the best year we've ever had. We were 19 and six, um, ranked in the top 20 poll every every poll that came out. It was high as 10. Finished the season at 19. Uh, a little disappointing into the season, lost in the playoffs, but I mean that's how it goes. We're just gonna get back to the drawing board, try to come back stronger next season. Losing your assistant coach to personal issues, to getting a wonderful transfer from a Division three school and having him blow out his ACL in the second week, to two foot surgeries, one case of MRSA. <laughs> it was that kind of a year. Um, all along the way, we won two games. One of the things that I loved about the guys, we kept getting on the bus, we were almost challenging. Man, we should have won that game, coach. We could have won that game. We were that close, coach. We had guys coming with scheduling issues for practice, just to get things together. And here was the thing that really hit me this season. I couldn't get them to be serious. They were always joking around with each other. They were always, look, look at them, look at them. <laughs> they were always laughing. They were always having a good time. They were always enjoying each other. And it hit me on one of the last days. I said to Mike Carswell, I said, Mike, I'm sorry we didn't get better results. He looked me in the eyeball and he said, Coach, 
We did the best we could with what we had. Google invests in failure. They invested a billion dollars a year in failure. Because by failing, they learn how to succeed. Well, Nova Hockey, I told them that we've actually spent more money than that. We went 4 and 63, which in the past four years before this year, so we invested in failure quite a bit to lay the foundation of excellence that we have today. The foundation of excellence that we have today is 18 4 and 1, the only two year school in the ACHA to be nationally ranked against all these four year schools in the entire country. Out of 190 schools, On top of that, we actually won the Blue Ridge Cup here.